Alright everyone, well in this video I'm taking a look at an incredibly old game, Tetris from 1986. Now this is the IBM DOS version of the game, and it's 24 kilobytes large. Yeah, by today's standards that's like nothing. <laughs> it's like thin air. <laughs> incredibly tiny amount of space, but the game is basic. <laughs> Sure, it is very similar to the game you'll recognise today, but the graphics are more basic, the sounds come from PC speaker, and it makes a little beepy noise when you clear a line, and it has no background audio. Hey, <laughs> space was a limitation back then. Now I seem to recall another version of the game I played back then, and yes I did have this one, and still have the original floppy disk somewhere with it on. But I recall a game of Tetris that we used to play on the IBM AT computer with a five and a quarter inch floppy disk, which was a bit more of a puzzle game than this one. I've never seen a version of it. You had to clear a set amount of lines, and yeah, there's games like that still. But there's a few different challenges in it. When you got to the end, you got three pieces, and you had to make a line. But it didn't tell you that at the time, so unless you got it right, uh, you failed the game. I can't for life me remember what it was called, what version it is, hey, if anyone knows, um, let me know, but uh, I could try rummaging back through the old last few five and a quarter inch floppy disks that are still at my parents' house, but it's not going to do me much good because I've still got to get it onto a modern day system, and I don't think we've even got a reader for those disks anymore. Oh well. Let's relive this uh, little moment from 1986. I'm playing the game in DOSBox with the CPU speed throttled right back to auto. Uh, yeah, you can't let it go because, uh, as you'll see when you hit level 9 on this game, it's pretty much uncontrollable anyway. That was how it was back then in the day. But on a modern system, even level 1 is pretty quick if you let the CPU go to maximum speed. I downloaded the game off the internet, I uh, just did a simple search for Tetris 1986 download, I think it took me to the My Abandonware website, that's where I got it from. There's too much effort to go and find the original floppy disk version I had of the game. I never worked out what causes the level to increase in this version of Tetris, and normally it's every 10 lines, but on this game I think it's more of a timed increment. You're not going to notice at the moment because I started the game at level 5. Certainly at the end of the game, where I start struggling on level 8, I don't even get a line and it jumps to level 9, and yeah, that dooms me because. <laughs> I suppose I'm only an adequate Tetris player, but on this game I don't really look very good. Yeah, actually, I did struggle with the keyboard controls, really. I'm just not used to the number pad keyboard controls. You, maybe I'm more used to the arrow keys or the Super Nintendo controller. Hey, that's the version of Tetris I played most, really, was the SNES version. And that's the one I really liked. I remember getting up into the high 20s on the level in the Super Nintendo version of Tetris. The two player elements in that game was really funny when you're trying to get four lines in the Tetris and uh, hurling lines backwards and forwards to each other on the screen. It was quite amusing. I remember some games lasting quite a while with just lines being hurled between the two of us. <laughs> and against the computer as well, that was uh, all quite funny. Still play that game every now and again in the SNES 9X emulator. With the background audio, I'm just ferrying it between the different versions of the Nintendo releases. At least I think I am anyway, because I never played the N64 or the Wii versions. Finally a moment of uh, just taking it easy, because I finally cleared all that mess on the screen, and let's start making another mess. Ok, well I've gone to up to level 6 with 60 lines, so that does indicate it's moving at every 10 lines. The speed of the game running in DOSBox on a modern machine pretty much matches what I remember of the game running on a 286 computer. So that would have been, what, probably 8 megahertz of speed? So yeah, pretty slow, but uh, actually completely usable for the time. But I do remember that computer only had a 20 meg hard drive. That's absolutely nothing in hard drive space. I'm sure it deliberately does it where it gives you pieces that you can't really use very well and causes you to make a 
just a mess on the screen, but uh, those statistics on the right hand side are fairly even really for a random number. I quite like the Wii version of the Tetris music. This would almost make me want to buy a Wii just to play the Wii version of Tetris. Mm, yeah, then again, I don't know, I may need a few other excuses in order to uh, spend all that cash to buy one. Okay, nothing more to see here. Yep, yep, just move along now. Nothing to see here. Oh, damn, just goes to level 9, and that's it for me. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.